but you know what? When when listen, TV's a long day. Yeah. It's a long day TV taping. So I'd always walk in and you would see the exact same thing. Andre playing cards with Arnold Scullin. Then you saw a bottle. Then you saw two. Then you saw four. And then you saw um, the box wine come with the nozzle. Mm. You know, he'd go through a couple of those. And you know, I remember getting out of the shower and they'd be on the floor and I'd kick them just to see if they were empty. And, and by God, they were bone dry. You know what I mean? So, um, did anyone ever call him out on it? Are you out of your mind, Andre? Andre was the boss. Yeah. N listen, nobody called Andre out on anything. Mm -hmm. No, Andre got to do whatever he wanted. It was his ball game. You know what I mean? So it, it, it would actually bother Vince if Andre was hot at him. It would bother him because, listen... You put Andre anywhere, he's he's going to sell it out. You know what I mean? I'll never forget when I was nine years old in 1975 and there was wrestling at Stanford High School. Mm. And my brother, Ralph, who was 13 years older than me, took me to go see wrestling. I still have the program. What, what would have happened if Vince McMahon walked backstage and you were sharing a bottle of wine with Andre? He did nothing. Yeah, because you're with him. But if you were but if you were there by yourself drinking a bottle of wine or drinking a can of beer before your match, oh, you've yeah, gotten no. away with it. Yeah, yeah, no. There was no booze in the dressing room. Those guys didn't know. No, but boy, were they thirsty when that those shows were over. I mean uh, I think I hated it even more because the emphasis on it was so great. It was a bear. I mean, the bear was the bear was the bear was the bear. I want a bear was the bear was the bear. I and mean, these guys were like crazy for it, you know. And I just didn't drink. So I'm like, where's Diet Coke? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't drink. So these guys were really these guys are really heavy drinkers back then, you know. Um, but no, no, there was no smoking in the dressing room. It, Vince, there were a lot of smokers there. Cowboy Bob Orton, there was um, Jake, Jake Roberts, there was the Dynamite Kid was a heavy smoker. Um, you know, Vince come, they, they they get word of Vince coming down and it was like, you know, smoking in the boys room in high school and the teacher was good. They all put him out and Vince can't, hell, uh, 